Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Isaiah chapter 63. This is the Amplified Version. Who is this who comes from Edom with crimson stained garments from Basra and Edom? This one who is glorious in his apparel, striding triumphantly in the greatness of his might. It is I, the one who speaks in righteousness, proclaiming vindication, mighty to save. Why is your apparel splashed with red, and your garments like the one who treads in the winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the peoples there was no one with me. I trod them in my anger, and trampled them in my wrath, and their lifeblood is sprinkled upon my garments, and I stained all my raiment. For the day of vengeance was in my heart, and my year of redemption. The year of my redeemed has come. And I looked, but there was no one to help. I was amazed and appalled that there was no one to uphold truth and right. So my own arm brought me victory, and my wrath upheld me. I trod down the peoples in my anger, and made them drink of the cup of my wrath, until they were intoxicated, and I spilled their lifeblood upon the earth. I will recount the loving kindnesses of the Lord, and the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, according to all that the Lord has bestowed on us, and the great goodness to the house of Israel, which he has granted them according to his mercy and according to the multitude of his loving kindnesses. For he said, Surely they are my people, sons who will not lie, who will not deal falsely with me. And so he was to them a savior in all their distresses. In all their affliction he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity he redeemed them, and he lifted them up and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit. Therefore he turned to become their enemy, and himself fought against them. Then his people seriously remembered the days of old, of Moses and his people. And they said, Where is he who brought our fathers up out of the Red Sea, with Moses and the other shepherds of his flock? Where is he? who put his Holy Spirit within the mist, within their mist, who caused his glorious arm to go at the right hand of Moses, dividing the waters before them, to make for himself an everlasting name, who led them through the depths like a horse in the wilderness, so that they did not stumble, like the cattle that go down into the valley, to find better pasturage, refuge, and rest. The Spirit of the Lord caused them to rest. So did you lead your people, Lord, to make for yourself a beautiful and a glorious name, to prepare the way for the acknowledgement of your name by all nations. Look down from heaven and see from the dwelling place of your holiness and your glory. Where are your zeal and your jealousy and your mighty acts? which you formerly did for your people, your yearning pity and the multitude of compassions of your heart are restrained and withheld from me. For surely you are our father, even though Abraham, our ancestor, does not know us, and Israel, Jacob, does not acknowledge us. You, O Lord, are still our father, our redeemer, from everlasting is your name. O Lord, why have you made us able to err from your ways and harden our hearts to reverential fear of you? Return to bless us for your servants' sake, the tribes of your heritage. Your holy people possessed your sanctuary, but a little while our adversaries have trodden it down. We have become to you like those over whom you never exercised rule, like those who are not called by your name. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.